driving through this world, guys. I'm avoiding that place got bogged out. And just up here, guys, here's some Nunga Aboriginal shelters, what Grant made. Look, beautiful. So those are real Aboriginal shelters, guys. That is amazing. So we're just speaking to Grant before fellas, made a really good video on Grant and this is a two beautiful uh, Noongar shelters what he made. So this is the type of stuff what he'll be doing with the kids. And look at this guys, this is made out of paper, paper bark. Beautiful. This is the way the Noongars would camp back in the old days guys, before the white fellas got here. So this one here, fellas, is made out of um, probably she-oak, she-oak or um, casuarina, and this one here is made out of beautiful paper bark. So this is the paper bark, guys, I talk about sometimes, so you, you, this just peels straight off a tree, and the Noongar Aboriginal people would actually use this to like wrap meat in like kangaroo meat or fish. I'll cook a nice piece of fish in that over a charcoal. So I'm going to grab this nice piece, grant my mind, and we'll take that home and we'll do up a nice fish dish, I reckon, with that one. So stay tuned, fellows. I'm also going to be doing heaps of um, campfire cooking this winter. Winter starts in another um, couple of months, but as of the next week or so on my ladder, um, have a campfire in my backyard or have a um, you know do burning off in my backyard so we'll be definitely doing heaps of uh, cooking especially and mainly uh, cast iron um, cast iron pan cooking I love cast iron pans fellas you can use cook any type of dish with those so yeah so stay tuned fellas we'll make something nice using this beautiful piece of paper bark Perfect. 